All right, I picked up some of these grass pigs from Havoc from Berkeley. Uh, they look very similar to the uh, strike minnows from Bait Lab. That I had some pretty good luck with those, so I decided to try these. I just spotted a couple of bass. One of them is a pretty decent size. Yeah, there's a couple, handful of them there. I think I spooked more of them than anything else, but they're there. There's three decent sized ones. Well, bigger than the rest of them anyway. One that looks like he's over a pound. Point them out right there. Coming towards the lily pads. Okay. So they're not going after this. Let me try something else. I was gonna go for a white grass pig, but try get a lighter green with different colored flakes in it. Got him. <laughs> Ah, there we go. Nice little one. They all came out after the Senko, but this one got to it first. He's, you know what? For some reason these bass this time of year they just seem more, more active, more feisty. Like usually by now they'd be giving up. Picture of this one, this little guy, real quick. Right. And there he goes. I just had the Senko sitting there and I looked away for a second, and when I looked back, uh, he had it in his mouth, so I just set the hook. You know, it's weird. I, I come out with something different that I haven't used before and the fish just have no interest in it whatsoever. I switch back to the uh, traditional Senko that I'm always using and they just they gobble it up on the first bite and on the first cast. So I don't know, there's people who make fun of guys who only fish with Senkos, but I'm starting to understand why they only fish with Senkos. Right, I can see mm, might be a decent sized bass across the way there. Can't really tell, but it could just be the same size as the one I already caught, so gotta get this up in front of him. No, he didn't take it. He was interested in it, but he didn't get it. I think it's because I got tangled up in the grass there before I got to him. If you didn't see the video where I explained it, sometimes, I read it in a magazine a long, long time ago, that uh, uh, sometimes after handling your lures and all that, you're, uh, they start to get the smell of your hands on them. So if you spit on them, it'll cover, it'll get rid of the smell of your hands, and for some reason, apparently, it also attracts fish, but I don't know how true that is. But it seems to seems to work for me. I mean, I, I I guess it's more of a superstition kind of thing now. 
you know what if i got that senko out there next to him that's a pound and a half to a two pounder right there since i had some scale out next to him that is just sitting there not really interested in anything all right uh decided to go for the grass pig again but this time i'm going with the white one Take it. Got him. Oh my god. I was I missed the hook set because there was too much slack in the line. Because of the current. The current pulled the line out before the fish took it. So I missed the hook set. But that was a good sized fish. That was the biggest one so far. Alright, I'm on to park number two. Got jello hot dogs, got shrimp for catfish, and uh, also gonna be throwing some um, some bass bait. What was that? Ah, look, there's like four. Oh man, there's. There are so many bass following my lure right now. Oh my God, there's 10 of them there. Just, oh my God, look at that. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 12, 13, 13 bass chasing my lure right now. I did have one bite, but I didn't didn't set the hook on him. It just kind of tested it out. Wow. I've never seen so many bass in one spot before. Police rolling up on me. <laughs> well, he waved at me, so Let's see if he comes around and tells me anything. Yeah, here he comes. Okay, cool. <laughs> that was... <laughs> and he's leaving. Okay, so there's nothing right here. I'm going to move on to another spot around the corner. And then, uh, I don't know, I don't want to push my luck too far. <laughs> Might have to leave. All right, started off the morning fishing the storm drain at one park. Then I moved to another park, same river. Then I went over to a pond and didn't get anything at the pond. Didn't get anything at the second spot, but I did see a whole bunch of fish. Now I'm going to end the day doing some uh, micro creek fishing. Oh, I had something come up and play with it, but didn't take it. Oh man, had two bites there. Oh, there's a whole school of fish following it, playing with it. None of them are big enough to get the hooks in their mouths, though. Got one. <laughs> Micro fishing. Foul hooked him that time. He struck at it, but I didn't catch him. 
Oh, I didn't get him in the mouth. Little red belly sunfish. <laughs> yeah. Oops. <laughs> well, he's he's free. For some reason, everybody else calls it micro fishing, but that's just the kind of fish I catch naturally anyway. So it's just fishing, fishing. <laughs> 